I think about the future a lot, and I don't just mean the pizza we'll be having for dinner tonight. I mean the future of human civilization. I wonder especially what the people from the future will think about us. Which of the seemingly normal things we do today will they find completely crazy? Here are my speculations, and I want to hear yours. First, pregnancy. Pregnancy is a huge strain on the female body and a lot of women don't enjoy it. Yes, I speak from personal experience. I think once it becomes possible to grow a fetus in a synthetic uterus, that'll become the norm. It'll probably first be used for very preterm babies who would otherwise die and then gradually be pushed to earlier in the pregnancy. But this will not happen anytime soon. It'll probably take something like 30 years and then of course some people will complain it's not natural and terrible for the baby, etc. We'll do it anyway. Second, touch screens. Touch screens are basically dead already. They'll soon be replaced with motion capture. This will also do away with keyboards. It'll take longer, but eventually all these handheld devices will vanish too. I think Zuckerberg is totally right that the future is an augmented reality. The technology isn't there yet. This will take longer, maybe 20 years or so. But young people will then think about today's smartphones like we think about rotary phones. How will it work instead? Oh, maybe with Star Trek style glasses or just a helmet with a visor and an air conditioner. I think they should come with an air conditioner. Third, enforced monogamy, by which I mean either socially or legally enforced. I think that developed nations will soon agree that it's not the business of the government to tell adults what relationships they can have, so long as no one's harmed. I don't think that polygamy will become particularly common, just more widely accepted as normal, the same way it happened with homosexuality. Fourth, driving a car. Once we have autonomous vehicles, it'll become apparent quickly that humans are the biggest cause of accidents and it won't be long afterwards until self-driving will become illegal except for emergencies. I think this will happen quite quickly and the transition will pretty much be done in 20 years. Fifth, speaking of cars, combustion engines are doomed to die. They're just too inefficient. But this doesn't mean that it'll entirely go out of fashion to use hydrocarbons like petrol, kerosene or propane for propulsion. They are, for better or worse, a really handy way of storing energy. And yes, producing them synthetically is inefficient and battery-powered vehicles make more sense. But I think we'll continue using synthetic fuels for a long time, especially in aviation, whether that makes sense or not. Sixth, slaughtering animals for food. I think eating mammals will go out of fashion and eventually be outlawed. People in the future will think of it as a morally extremely repulsive and disgusting thing to do. It's going to take a long time though, give it a century. Seventh, cash. Like it or not, cash is about to go extinct. It's just too cumbersome to use. Yes, some people value it for privacy, but I think there'll be other ways to maintain that. Maybe a good startup idea. Eighth, that we didn't have full body scans. I suspect this is something which Rohin would strongly object to, but personally I think it's crazy that we walk around with these bodies our entire life and have no idea what they look like inside. If you think you're ill, you can't just have a look at your whatever it is that's hurting. You have to convince a doctor that it's worth looking at. I think it won't be long until it becomes standard for every household to have an ultrasound device and hopefully in the future some better methods too. Basically, I think it's it'll become pretty common for people to do a daily health check and to keep their sanity, they'll probably just leave the details to an AI to sort out. Ninth, delivery men and women will soon no longer be needed. Drones and landing places for them will soon replace them. The biggest hurdle will probably be legal regulations for who's allowed to fly and where. And tenth, Supersonic planes are totally coming back, whether that makes ecological sense or not. 
because we can and we will. Finally, let me tell you a few things that I think will not happen. Smart homes will be shortcut by the robot revolution. You don't need your fridge to remember to buy milk if C3PO does it. Full-blown virtual reality will remain a niche thing. There just aren't sufficiently many good use cases for it. The quantum internet will fade into obscurity and no one will understand how anyone could ever believe this to make any sense. What do you think the people of the future will say about us? Let me know in the comments. I'm always on the lookout for you to find special offers you might be interested in. And today I have a new one. It's a learning app called Imprint. They have a lot of content on personal development, productivity and science and technology. Like for example, this overview course on artificial intelligence and super intelligence. Imprint breaks down even complex topics into their essentials with easy to understand summaries and visuals. And at the end of each chapter, there are questions to help improve your retention of knowledge. Calling it an app is not a good way to put it. It's really an entirely new method of learning. Imprint helps you make a habit of discovering new content and collecting useful information. I particularly like this summary of The Courage to be Disliked by Koga and Kishimi, which I never came around to read. It's really helped me to put my life into perspective. And of course, I have a special offer. You can try everything everything Imprint has to offer for free for a full seven days and you'll get 20% off an annual membership. All you have to do is use our link imprintapp.com slash Sabina or click on the QR code. So stop scrolling through endless feeds and make smarter use of your time with Imprint. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.